Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. A big thanks to Lindsey Brown for hey. filling in. Hello. Glad, glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Our next guests are talking about some of the biggest mistakes home buyers can make. Being aware of these might make it easier to find your next home. That's right. So Julie and Daniel DeRoche from the DeRoche Realty Group and EXP Realty are here. Hello, you guys. Hello. Good to see you. I feel like this is a cause for celebration because earlier in the week, rates went down, yeah. right? Yeah. Are we celebrating or not? Waiting. We are. We've ne never been so like fixated on what rates are doing, but... Yeah, you know. yeah. It is strange to get excited about a 7.5% interest rate, though. <laughs> I, I, I imagine, but everything helps a little bit. And, you know, one thing we were talking about is, you know, mistakes. I imagine a lot of people are really watching these interest rates and waiting before they make any moves to see how low it'll go. They are, and it's just a really hard thing to do. We have a lot of buyers that think that the interest rates are going to go down, and maybe they will, but maybe they'll go up. And we don't know, so um, if they, to kind of put it into perspective, if they go down, yes, you're getting a really great interest rate. Mm -hmm. If they go down, a lot more buyers will enter the market. Yeah. So then prices will probably go up. Nationally, they say if interest rates go down 1%, 5 million buyers will enter the market. Whoa. Woo. That's huge. That yeah, really that is. is huge. Yeah, that is, I guess, the tricky thing is like trying to play this whole, this whole battle of watching but knowing that if they go down, yeah, you feel good about it, but now, now you're going to get in a competition and then you're going to have to like outbid somebody that comes in fresh in this market. I had not thought about it this way until you just said that. You're absolutely right. It's yeah. fascinating. And, yeah. and you just don't know how long this is going to go on and do you want to be stuck in a house that you're somewhat miserable in potentially? Well, exactly. we had people a year ago that said, well, now hang on, I'm going to wait till rates come down. Uh. And they were in the mid sixes. Well, when they hit 8%, how do you feel they were thinking? Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. That is that is tricky. Now, Daniel, I want to ask you this question because I see this. I do like myself some uh, some um, you know HGTV mm -hmm. and, and watching some of these shows, right? And it does drive me a little bit crazy when somebody walks in and they're like, I don't like it, that, that pink wallpaper, um, <laughs> mm -mm, I, I can't do it. I'm like, buddy, you know, you, you can actually take that off. It'll be a, a pretty small price. So like. The, the cosmetics, that when you look at homes, that should never deter you, is that correct? It should never deter you. You should look at the big things. Like, uh, you hear people say location, location, location. That's not the same thing repeated three times. First, it's the city, mm -hmm. then it's the neighborhood within the city, then it's the lot within the neighborhood. Look at those things, the things you can't change. Right. Okay, like, I was actually with uh, some buyers this morning, and they wanted me to add a fireplace to their criteria and a hookup for... Uh, an RV, like to be able to, like if they oh, had a friend sure. over yeah. hook up the RV, I'm like, guys, don't put those in the criteria. You're going to take it from 100 homes to two when 98 of them won't have that. But to add a fireplace in today's world, it's like three, four grand. Yeah. To add that hookups right. a couple grand, don't miss a great house over something so small. Like people, like the first showing of a home happens online. If people don't fall in love with the photos, it's amazing how many people will s slide right past, what is it, swipe left, swipe right, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, depending yeah. on the app, depending I don't, I don't know, know right. how it works, yeah. but they will, they'll pass a house because of you know pink wallpaper or light fixtures they don't like or countertops they don't like. Find the right bones, the right location that work in your budget. Don't let that stuff get to you at all. Well, something that is important <laughs> though is resale. Yeah, and you know, you th I think we commonly think that people understand that that would be bad resale, but we go through a lot of homes with people and what one person may be okay with, maybe a majority of people aren't. So things like a busy road, I've shown houses to people and they're like, oh, you know, they're, maybe they're from another, they're from yeah. the city or something and they're used to living on a busy road, but now they're looking at a house in Lakeville on a busy road. Well, you know, for resale, that's gonna be maybe be a negative. So that's something right. that you need to think about. Um, if it's, there's not enough bedrooms and bathrooms, yeah. weird layout. Another thing that you can't change sometimes, you can change some layout, but if you have just a really weirdly laid out house, that may be a hard thing to resell in the future. I can imagine mm -hmm. some people are in it, they just really want the house, they're emotional, and they say, we'll deal with it later. Yes, exactly. And I imagine they regret that. Yes, they do. Like tuck under garages. People will sacrifice and go do a tuck under garage because they need that three car garage. Bringing your groceries into your basement and then carry them upstairs no. every time, it's a massive 
Heck no. Yeah, that's no bueno for me. Yeah, exactly. No. I mean, but people will sacrifice on that. Well, right, and you're, and you're probably like a lot of a lot of people. You you want to make one trip, mm -hmm. so you're, you're loaded up. Both arms. So you are you are loaded up with as many bags as you can get, and you want that walk to be as short as possible, and you do not want stairs. Well, and think about winter detached garages. People be right. like, well, I don't really care if it's attached or detached. I'm like, yeah, have you chatted with your wife? She's got some pretty fancy hair. Every time it snows or rains, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, then try to think brutal. about carrying groceries and babies across yeah. a slippery oh. driveway in the winter. Oh, yeah. I don't have to, I, I've been there. <laughs> okay, I want to go back to what you were talking about earlier, though, with the cosmetic stuff. Okay. Because when it comes from a seller's perspective, some of those things really do matter. As, you, as you're swiping left or right. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> We talk about curb appeal and we talk about all this stuff. You gotta like zhuzh everything up because you do know that the human condition is like you, you see something that's not pleasing to the eye and you just like swipe past it. So like how much money should we, do you need to put into like a pink bathroom? Like do I have to change that? Or do you just trust the realtor and the, and the buyer can be like, no, we can change that. Don't worry about that. Well, a lot of things to answer there. For starters, you gotta make sure you have a realtor that knows costs. Like to renovate a typical bathroom in a typical house now, you're talking 10 mm -hmm. minimum. Like a, a good size primary bathroom can be 25, 30 grand in renovation. But if it's just paint and changing out faucets and a mirror and a light fixture, you know, it can be so easy. And I like pink tile. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess maybe that's the other thing. But what if everything's pink? What if it's pink wallpaper? What if it's pink everything? Then are you done with that? And you can paint tile. Well, yeah, that's probably true. Can you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, yeah, they make some amazing paint. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. We'll see. Yeah. Now we learned. We learned a lot today. You can even paint your tile. Yeah, but if it's pink, I don't want to. But <laughs> yeah, the you, ugly green keep, of my bathroom, I do that. want to. Oh. Well, guys, thanks so much. This is very, very helpful from fun. the both the, the buyer and the seller perspective. We'll keep watching everything. Yeah. Wow. Don't guys don't be chasing those interest rates. Yeah. Right? No. Don't do that. <laughs> all right. The team at the, the, the Roche Realty Group at EXP Realty they really want to help you buy, sell, or even build your home. We put their contact info at Twin Cities Live. All right, we'll be right back.